everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back with another episode of Skyopolis 4. Man, it's nice being able to use flight all willy-nilly. I just kind of fly around, and then every once in a while when I walk by this thing, I repair the uh, the charm here, so things are cool. All right, uh, today I want to do some projects. You know, I've got a list growing of things that I mean to do and just haven't gotten to, and it's much more than we can get to today, but, you know, let's at least start. So, of course, we got the chest. Now, things that we needed to look at. So, first thing is, right, we had the flugel. And the flugel give us, uh, gives us this as chicken wings, right? And it gives us this counter. And if you notice, once that wing goes away, hey, I didn't fall out of the sky. Well, isn't that weird? Well, it's because it, it goes in tandem with the eye of the flugel. This is the flugel tiara. That once my eye of the no, once my tiara runs out of wings, this thing lets me continue flying, but it costs more mana to do it. So I would watch my see. You can actually see my mana tick down there. So it's not. Uh, this is still isn't going to be a great long term solution because I'm just going to burn through the mana. So we are going to stay with the solution we already have. So in here with the flugels. All right. Next thing. Uh, crystallized obsidian. So, down here, uh, let's, uh, there we go, down here, uh, we are going to need this later on. So I got looking, because I'm always looking for end game, uh, and let's see, right down here, this is a component of black iron ingot, and black iron ingot is in, like, everything for extended crafting and blah, 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 like, it's, it's going to be a thing. So... I set it up on auto crafting. So we've got the two melters. I actually doubled it up. So I've got magma and slime. And I put it on crafter. Now the only downside, let's see, let's get uh, ooh, 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 ooh. let's get let's get like 10 of these guys. Is this thing requires them in a very specific order, which is just like this, and it doesn't always put them in in that order. So if it doesn't work, sometimes you gotta come down here like this. Ah, uh, it's not in the right order. So it's that, that, that. Okay, so you, you, like that. There you go. And I don't know how to fix that to force it to, you know, only insert items into the right slot because this doesn't know what the right slot is. But if that's the worst case, then uh, whatever, right? We can make crystals, no problem. Now, I am taking those crystals and I made myself a new sword because, you know, this thing started at 14 damage and this one's 14 and a half. <laughs> and I always want more. Actually, we're going to take a new sword because we've got new enchanting. And this is one of the things I want to look at today. So come down here into our new enchanting area. Look at this thing. Ah, you know, I'm slowly, slowly cleaning everything up. So if you come in here, check out this place, man. Is this psychedelic or what? I adore the carpeting. I think that this is just cool. Right, so in here we've got our Batania set up, but we've also got the uh, Apotheosis set up, and I have maxed it out. So what you need, now that we went to the end, we were able to do this. I was able to build end shelves, which is why we needed the Dragon's Breath, and then I was able to convert some of these end shelves to Dragon or Draconic end shelf, that that gives me the maximum Eterna stat. And we needed dragon heads for that, and we'll get into where the dragon heads came from. And then the rest of these dudes are pearlescent end shelves, which is a regular end shelf with this garbage around it. And these have big other stats, right? Big quanta and big arcana. So I can come into this guy. Uh, let's see. Let me get on my feet here, and let's get some of this. So we'll stick that and that in there, and you can see... Ding, ding, ding. And if you're curious, it is 10 of the Traconic Shelves. And I think it's 21. It's whatever completes the circle. The glowstone on the floor does nothing but look pretty. So don't, don't worry about that. So in here, oh man, look at this. I need 100 levels. Holy cow, and I'm only at 16. Ah, uh, this is going to take a minute. Okay, 10 and a half stacks later of the uh, experience confections here. Holy cow, that took a lot. Where we are, level 100. Please don't take a lot of levels, right? Oh, man, look at all the completion. Look at all that stuff that I just made. Holy cow. Enchant at 100, enchant at 80, all stats maximum, 100% arcana, and there we go. Okay, so that gave me... Okay, let's let's look at this here. 
That gave me Life Mending 4, Don't Care. Capturing 7, good. Knowledge of the Ages 4, good. Magic Siphon and Fire Aspect we have. Magnet I don't care about. And Looting is... Looting is 7. We've got Looting 10. So, not amazing. And, uh... Oh. Woo, I was like, I can't disenchant it? Okay, so let's disenchant this now. And I guess this is probably easier up here. Uh, we don't really need any of these, so let's get some of our... Let's get some of these enchants here. And, oh man, it's going to suck down the experience. And let's see if we get anything good. Um, capturing 7. What do I have on here? I got Capturing 4. So I'm actually going to keep that one. And then we'll do this, and it's going to go ahead and suck some experience from me. I'll try to not lose so many levels here. We'll eat some candy. All right, 94. Ah, there we go. Okay, throw those back in there. Did I get anything good here? Knockback, power six, quick charge, three. So nothing really amazing. All right, so then I'm going to have to keep playing with this and keep uh, enchanting it. Excuse me. All right, we'll keep enchanting it. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's enchant it one more time. Hold on. We can get back up to 100. I just want to see if we can get better enchants. Uh, 99. Oh, oh, ran out. Okay. Eh, there we go. All right. Woo. There's a scroll I can keep all this stuff on. Capturing one? Ender seven? Really? Capturing one? Magnet three? Bane Ilgers? Oh, that was such a waste. That was super duper garbage. Right? Okay. So I've got work to do, but this is basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to enchant and come here and enchant and come here and see if we can find good books like this. So this upgrades my capturing, uh, which is now over here. So let's see. You are swords. And so capturing... Oh, capturing four. You become capturing seven. So hopefully we can make our enchants better and get uh, more overpowered because, you know, more better. Oh, I love this room so much. I'm so sad to leave it. It's so peaceful in here. All right, out of the room we go, looking at the battle arena, which is not peaceful. Uh, nope, down over here. All right, let's take a run on by. Ooh, 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 you don't need to be on. Oh, I hate that sound. Hate that sound. All right, so that is the crystal sword. TBD, gonna be awesome. All right, uh, dragon head. So there is a new trade for dragon heads, and I had to leave myself a reminder back here. Uh, so if you get yourself some of these runes and the rune of absolute power. So the rune of absolute power is a pain in the butt because it's the other 18 runes put together. Uh, and so it takes a little bit to be able to get those. But if you throw the rune in with a dragon head, you get two dragon heads back. Right? So this is one way to dupe dragon heads. Same thing happens with skybox. So you set up a process to make these. You can make yourself unlimited skybox. So that's kind of cool right there. All right, uh, next thing. Just trying to show you this stuff. Uh, dust. Oh, I did a thing. I did a thing, and it's hysterical. So I've got all my fluids right outside the base right here. And so I set up a crafter on some of them. Uh, so like this one, this is nether drops. So I can order it from crafter. It drops it into the open crate, which drops it down into the fluid. And then I've got these advanced item collectors, which are positioned with a very short range just to be able to suck things up. So it got automated. But I also turned it on so I could turn it on 100%. Uh, so let's get this one here. And it's just going to drop stack after stack after stack in there. And what it's making right now is uh, pearls or ender. Yeah, this right here is making ender pearl dust by dropping stacks, because I think it's like a 6% chance to get this. So, you know, it's kind of it's kind of like carpet bombing. <laughs> so if we want to do that, we can. I just thought this was kind of a neat setup, and it kind of blends in a little bit, except for, you know, these dudes peeking out here, but whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, let's go make ourselves a wither. Let's go, let's go use the pinkinator. I mean, why not, right? So let's come out here away from the base, right? Oh man, we can't even see the base. All right, the base is west. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's set down our balloon. There we go. That gives me a block to build off from. Does Soul Sand have gravity? No, it doesn't. Okay. Woo. Right. Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh, there goes a there goes a balloon because I forgot to turn on the magnet. So let's see. Wither. Wither. Uh, you know what? This is going to be best for everybody in night vision, I think. There we go. 
Uh, I love having this stuff at my convenience. So wither, wither, wither. Now, are you just gonna fall? And I'm pretty sure I gotta wait. Oh no, I don't have to wait for you to explode. Now, can I put a lead on you? Oh, I can ride you. Are we actually moving? Oh no, wither. Hold on, I'll save you, I'll save you. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, got him, got him, got him. Yes, we did it. Okay, the base is west. That's what I said. There it is. Base is over here. Ah, uh, we don't want to lose our brand new shiny pink wither. I forgot that he was going to sink immediately because he hasn't, you know, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't ready. Ah, uh, you such a cutie pie. You such a big lovey. We got to name you. I need a name. I'm not sure what to name him yet, but uh, I love it. Okay, we got ourselves a wither. And you know, we're gonna need to, uh, we're gonna need to calm him down. So let's see, right here, we're gonna say wither, wither ambient, uh, yes. And I'm gonna take you, uh, I'm gonna take you down here. I just don't wanna hear that noise all the time. But we'll find something to do with our bro here. You're not gonna follow me around, right? Oh, and let's definitely, let's try the writing again. No, unless there's some sort of something on a stick. No, I, I can't, uh, I can't ride him. I can push him around. Yeah, come down here, dudes, and see what you get. Maybe the wither will protect me. All right, so projects I want to do. Uh, they're not in order. So this one right here. So buckets of stuffs. We need to do buckets of stuff here. Uh, and I am going to break this pipe first. So let's come downstairs. And I have been storing fluids. Tanks got out of hand. So I've been storing fluids in refined storage and this is out of hand a little bit and I wanna fix this and I need to, I need to shut off a process here. So let's turn off this, uh, our pneumatic craft fluid crafting process, right? Let's just turn all of those dudes off. It'd be nice if I could put a lever on that and turn the whole thing off. Maybe I can, I just don't know it. So I can now make quantum tanks and the recipe for quantum tanks is an ultimate fluid tank. And so they're actually, not that expensive. And I want to take these dudes and we'll, we'll put them here. Uh, I feel like there should be one more. I feel like there's, oh yeah, 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 there's one over here. There's one over here because I've got LPG coming in, but then I've got lubricant, but I don't actually need lubricant in the system. So let's get, uh, let's get some stuff here. Let's get some exporters and let's see if we can export this fluid. And we're going to need stack and we're going to need speed because this is probably going to take a minute. Uh, and I should be able to do the world's hackiest job here, right? And just do that and connect them up. And then I should be able to take the bucket and come in here and say, you're a fluid, so you're an LPG bucket. So hopefully that will empty everybody right out, right? Like this is going to take a minute. And then what we'll do is we'll take down these drives, uh, We'll take down these drives. Yeah. What are, what's in you? Oh, creosote. That's the other one I was going to do. I was going to do creosote. That's why we got rid of the pipe. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We need to, we need to do this one too, because while we're doing them, let's do them all right. And get this. And I'm going to need, I need a bucket of creosote. Let's go get one. Let me get this extra bucket out of my inventory because it's just going to mess me up. Uh, oh, I can get it. I can get it directly out of the fluid grid here. Free us out. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I really, I do want these still to be available on Fluid Grid because that is the handiest thing ever. Okay, so got you. And, oh, I thought, I thought I did that. Okay. And, oh, I can put the bucket in there. So that's, yeah, we'll come back to this in a minute, I think. Because that's got 15 million millibuckets to export. And it's doing it at a pretty good clip, actually, but still going to take time. Okay. So let's let's leave ourselves a reminder of hey we gotta we gotta come do this. There's a pipe, right? And we'll throw this extra junk out of the inventory. I'll hold on to the external storage because that's what we're gonna need. All right. Uh, next project is this right here is energizing stuff. So we need to get to the next tier in power. Hold on. Oh, uh, fly! It's it is so hard going up elevators when you can fly. Okay, I was just making sure he was staying put. So I want to do the energizing right down here. I think this is a good spot for it. 
And so we're going to put down this guy. And, you know, I don't really remember these, but, okay, it's it's clearly, it's charging. I can't, I can't set it down. Right? Don't, don't these guys set down? Uh, I thought you, no. I thought you set down. Maybe you need to sit on a power cable? Uh, let's, let's look here. Let's try, let's try an ultimate cable. And then we'll resort to reading the book. Oh, yep, okay. So we will, we will mow out an area. Uh, Flexo Magnet is on. And we'll get these dudes. So let's try to set these down nicely. I hate that I'm charging them right now from my network. Right, that's why they're going up and down in my hand. I'm not just having fun with them. Uh, let's see, right? Right here, right there. And what do I got left over? One? Uh, no, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do two, four, six. I'm going to do eight more if I have to do that. Because, you know, symmetry is a thing. So let's get a, uh, let's get a plug here. Let's get a flex plug. And we will attach this. There we go. We'll attach this underneath. Because we got to try to make it look at least 1% good. No, uh, no, 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 no. You got to use the right thing. You have to use the right thing. This is a point, not a plug. This needs power. And I think I destroyed a little bit of cable with Super Chop Chop the pickaxe. All right, this is there. So let's, le let's learn about this. So here in the quest book, uh, right here, energizing orbs used to craft advanced materials for power. And I was supposed to create a starter rod. And what are you guys? Uh, you are a basic. Oh, I was supposed to do a thing here. I think I have one of these. Uh, a starter. Okay, let's get a starter. You know, waste a little bit of material. Although one of these... Oh, man, now I got the bad feeling that one of these is a starter. You're basic. You're basic. You're basic. Uh, you're spruce planks. You're basic. Let's see. Uh, no. No. Okay. All right. All right. I thought I did a thing, but I didn't do it. In my inventory, back on out. All right. Got that. The rods can be placed around an energizing orb within a 9x9 radius. The amount of rods will increase the speed of the orb. Recipes also tell you how much power is required per operation. And so you gave me another... another that's a starter, and I got another basic. Okay. All right. So we don't need that one at all. And so now we're going to get some recipes. Yeah. Energize steel. So whatever this is, you're going to be gold and iron. We'll come in here and make energized steel. Okay, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's automate this process. Gold and iron. Let's see, right here, uh, iron. I just want to make one to start with. And I'll stick you in there, and I'll stick you in there. And you're going to do your thing. All right, let's get ourselves a crafter. Uh, a basic crafter will be fine. Right, basic crafter, and I'm going to get myself an importer. I assume that we can do this, and we're going to need some cable. All right, so that makes this. Now let's see if we can suck this right off the platform here, uh, right from underneath. So take out the pumpkin and throw that dude up there. And do I have a cable anywhere around me? No, I don't. Uh, what is the least ugly option that I have? I've got, oh, 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 we got a cable here. We have a cable here. So I'm going to come down here. Not that kind of cable. I'm going to come down here. We're going to make the turn. Right, right there, maybe. And let's come over. Right, I'm trying to keep these as straight of a line as possible. Right, and then we'll come underneath here. Oh, not the elevator. And we'll come all the way down. And this will get me connected into this guy and connected into there. Now, did that suck that right out of there? Yes, it did. Ah, oh, I love it when it gets sucked. All right, let's see. Uh, that there and wrenchy wrench. There we go. Uh, wrenchy the wrench. And I need a cable. That'd be handy if it was under this pumpkin. Uh, I guess we could... I guess we could. I'm not. I'm not crazy. Let's check F7 here. Okay, we've got the we've got the light to be able to do it. I'm not crazy about these cables diving down in the middle of the thing. You know, come on, come on. There we go. So this might get changed. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we can come over here and connect in. 
right? And this will leave me the cleanest looking option, except for, you know, being able to see the power cables. And maybe, uh, maybe slabs might be an option here, right? Maybe slabs, although I am gonna make, I, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of them, right? Because what would slabs look like? Slabs would look like, eh, it, it would just look like garbage. That's what it would look like. Okay, so now we need to go make a recipe. Uh, let's get up here, uh, make the turn, make the turn. And in here, and let's program all the power stuff. So, at eh, power, uh, and we're gonna get, where are the materials? So you are not what I'm looking for, you, it's, it's you guys. Okay, so it's gonna be this, right? It's gonna be that one. Uh, it's gonna be these crystals. And we're gonna do blaze powder. Although blaze powder takes more power. We've got like infinite blaze rod. So let's, uh, let's, do, let's do that. We'll save a little bit. You're probably diamonds, yes you are. And we're gonna get this one, which is probably emeralds. Yes, it is. Okay, and I can see I'm about to run out of patterns here. Don't I have a bunch of patterns? Yes, I do. And at power, and then it's going to be the red one, the nitro. So, wow. We need to know how to make a block of blazing crystals. Okay, and that's a block of blazing crystal right there. So that's nine of these guys. Okay, so this pattern is going to come in here. Uh, well, actually, they could all come in here, but... Uh, you know, we're gonna do one piece at a time and while we're here while we're here. No, no, no I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make the lower tiers Let's uh, let's tear this dude right on up and that way I don't waste a lot of rods, right? So we'll get these in there and so to move to the next tier of Energizing rod energizing So I'm gonna need can I jump all the way to this? Can I do that a block of sunny quartz? A block, okay, so it's just a block of quartz. A nitro capacitor, which is a large capacitor, which is two basic capacitors, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 we could do this. It's probably just gonna take a little bit, right? It's probably just gonna take a little bit because I don't know, oh, I gotta make the previous, you gotta make all the previous tiers. Uh, okay, and to make each one of these, I'm gonna need each one of those. Oh, I see, okay, so at power, Looks like I got a little bit of crafting in my future, so let's make, um, I, I, I don't know, let's make 30 of these, and let's see what the cycle time is. Oh, and I didn't even think if it's going to suck off. Oh, no. It only wants to do them one at a time. Oh, no. Okay, I got to fix this. All right, so this took a minute, but I got it, uh, I got it figured out here. So we can go into a one, two, three, four. So uh, this is nine by nine right here. So I got them set out the maximum distance. And so we can have more. And you know, I probably could put them on the ceiling and we could put them other places, right? I could put them inside. They don't, I don't think they have to have clear light of sight. But the problem is that this needs one operation at a time. So to solve this, I move the crafter to redstone pulse inserts the next set. So we got to trigger a pulse when this is done. So when stuff's here, the comparator will pick it up and will light up. And then I've got an inverter here, which will turn off the redstone to a sequencer. And the sequencer is just taking this long pulse and making it a blip, right? So wait this long, wait this many ticks, and then blip. And that goes to a redstone transmitter that comes back over here. Actually, I probably could have just gone block up and, and over, but whatever, right? We got RF tools. Let's do it. So it looks like this. Let's get, uh, let's get at power. We're going to need a ton of these guys. Uh, stack? Do I dare do stack? So there it goes, right? And there's the signal to say, hey, give me the next set. Right? And signal and set. There we go. This is going to be a very powerful method. I got other plans for this right here. Yeah, I love it. But that, uh, yeah, that totally automates it. And it doesn't rely on timing at all. It's just, it's literally signal, right? Give it to me and then don't give it to me. And so then I can back this up with other orders and then I can create the next tier and then over and over and over again. And probably by the time we come back and see this, that these guys are going to be uh, all the way up. I would expect to be up to nitro, right? Because this just isn't terribly hard. How many, it's going to be, oh, I get 16 per nether star. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. So I think this is a 
fairly elegant solution. I don't know. There's probably a much easier way to do this, but you know me. I'm not going to look it up. I'm just going to do it. All right. Very cool. I think that's pretty cool. Let's go back up to the house here, and let's look in the chest. It's nighttime. Wither, you know, I don't really like you, and there's not much I can do. Um, we we're going to put you in storage for the moment. Let's see. Uh, uh, there we go. It's the noise. The noise is what gets me out of everything. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is my gentle reminder to go downstairs and look at the tanks. Right? And, okay, so drives are, you're empty. You are still outputting. Right? You're lubricant. Which one of these is uh, diesel, gasoline? Oh, we put diesel in two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I got to fix that. Okay, so uh, pipe made real, real short work of that. Man, this thing moves 64,000 millibuckets a tick. Like, that's pretty cool. So, let's do this kind of one at a time here. So, creosote. Where's the creosote drive? There it is right there. Okay, so the creosote drive is empty. So, let's take creosote, right? You're right here. And... Where did, where did that, did you just, did you just suck it up? Did you just suck that up? Uh, hold on, quantum tank, no. Can I not chop, no, I just chopped these tanks. Is it in my, oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, doo -hoo. I was scared there for a second. All right, so let's get an external storage on this dude and we're gonna need a little bit of cable, right? And cable, like a piece, really? And it'll come over to the disk drive which I'm going to have to move because the quasi the connectivity here. Uh, let's uh, let's do a thing here just so I don't mess this whole thing up. And let's just kind of connect everybody. Right, there we go. And then as I move stuff around, I won't lose connection. Okay, so that part is done. That one's done. Right, creosote's done. So the next one here is LPG. LPG is this one. All right, and item frame. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. No, we got, oh, that's just a disc manipulator. Woo! Okay. So you, LPG, right? You can come up here uh, like that, and you can come up there. And I should be able to see these. I uh, Do I have a fluid monitor? I've got a monitor for everything. I even got myself a crafting monitor just so I could see what was going on here. So wireless fluid grid. Oh, I can't see you on the fluid grid. Right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Fluids. Fluids, right? And these will need to be set. So this will need to be set for LPG just to make sure we don't have a problem. And you're going to need to be set for creosote, which uh, hopefully I can just bucket out of you. And I probably need to put an item frame on there just to be safe because that is my preferred method of identification. Item frame and your LPG, right? And can I see you on the fluid grid now? Yes, I can. Okay, so I just got to do this over and over and over again. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, we got all five of the fluids all stacked up real nicely. And the only two drives i am got left is lava and water. And, I, you know, I got 4,000 buckets of each. That's all I really need. And it's really only so they can fill these guys over here, the fluid encapsulators, so I can get buckets on demand for crafting recipes since, you know, that got nerfed, right? Okay. Uh, so, oh, can I reuse these drives? Can I split them? Yes, I can. All right, let me let me put them together so I remember to split them later. Uh, and I guess I'll stick it up here. All right, we'll stick it. Okay, let's uh, let's stick this back here, and that way that should fill up, and then it gets sucked back out. Right, this should work. Uh, we might have broken something underneath. I guess I'll have to check on it. Okay, all fixed up. No problem. Just broken cable. Uh, we got that all taken care of. All right, so I think we got time for another small project. Yeah, and it's going to be this right here, and I'm going to need some glass. Uh, and I would like some fancy glass. I would like maybe gray, maybe uh, white stained glass. Right? Let's let's make... Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. 16 pieces. Okay, so let's come over to the Batania area, and... We need to clean this up here. This is uh, this is terrible, right? This just doesn't really work. So let's see. Do I have magnet on? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Whoo! I thought I wasn't going to get those back. 
we'll get that piece and then over here we're gonna get these pieces and we're gonna chop this out okay so this one's still in the right spot I actually like this here and so I'm gonna use the uh, living wood because I'm gonna want this in this position right so let's uh, let's get living living wood here right and put the living wood right there all right very cool and then over here I'm gonna move this guy to be just like that so in the corner so very nice very nice and you're probably wondering like what the heck is going on that's that's not gonna do anything it's because it's going on refined storage and nope that cable I thought that cable was gonna be a problem but it is not so we're gonna get a couple of things here we're gonna get constructors and we're gonna get destructors so the constructor uh, we're gonna stick on the bottom I guess Right, and we'll put all the constructors there, and we'll do the same thing here. We'll just go back and forth, and so I'm going to need a piece of stone. Uh, we're going to need one piece of stone, and I'm going to need a piece of spruce wood. So over here, I'm going to set all of these. Exact mode, items, right, redstone, no problem. So no matter what, I want these eight to be placing spruce logs. Right, spruce and spruce and spruce did I get them all and spruce right okay and over here you're gonna place plain stone and let's see looking at the layout here uh, I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll do the maximum destruction here we're gonna need one there we're gonna need one two three and we're gonna need one here and don't worry I am gonna wire this all together I just want to kind of get it looking right uh, so one two three one one two three all right so then the next step is I'm gonna get detectors and so a detector is gonna come in here and am I gonna have space I'm gonna have to oh I, this one this one's already on <laughs> so here's the plan is I'm gonna set a detector right there and I'm gonna turn this guy to uh, to only work with redstone signal and then we're gonna make the detector and we're gonna say okay living rock so we're going to emit a signal when we're under 500 pieces, right? And so if I were to cable this guy in, do I have cable? Uh, hold on. Let's get some cable and let's see if this works the way I think it does. Uh, I should be able to cable you across. And there we go. So that got, that broke it. And then if I cable that, that that placed it. Oh, 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 and I got to set this for only destruct uh, whitelist. There we go. So only destruct the whitelist. Right? And same thing for you. Whitelist. And same thing for you. Okay, this is why we test these things. And so now I'm going to set a whole bunch of these around. I could do it with redstone, but it, sometimes it's just easiest to set a whole bunch of them. Okay, and just like that, it's done. Set everybody around. I did have to move the uh, Pure Daisy down. It was at the wrong level to do some transformation, but this should set everybody in place. Who's going to change first? It should set everybody in place. It should destruct them. It should monitor my inventory and auto-refill it for me, and I don't have to do anything. I, oh, I love these blocks so much. Yep, there it goes. Okay, they're being destructed, and they're being replaced. Just like that, so my inventory of living wood and living rock is going up, and I'm gonna need this for projects coming up soon. Very cool. All right, I think that's enough projects for the day. We still got many more to do, but you know, dudes, we're just out of time. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and this is Skyopolis IV. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, hit that like button, and then I'll see you in the next episode.